Reports of an unsent love letter allegedly written to one of President John F. Kennedy's lovers have resurfaced. On Thursday, November 1st, 2018, just a few weeks shy of the 55th anniversary of Kennedy's assassination, the Irish Central published an article alleging that the 35th President of the United States had an affair with family friend and artist Mary Pinchot Meyer shortly before his untimely death, citing an unsent love letter as proof. The love letter in question is believed to have been written to Pinchot Meyer on official White House stationery in October 1963, just one month before Kennedy was shot and killed by Lee Harvey Oswald while riding in a motorcade with his much-beloved wife. In the letter, President Kennedy pleads for Pinchot Meyer to pay him a visit, writing, Why don't you leave suburbia for once? Come and see me, either here or at the Cape next week or in Boston the 19th. I know it is unwise, irrational, and that you may hate it, and I will love it. You say that it is good for me not to get what I want. After all of these years, you should give me a more loving answer than that. Why don't you just say yes? This isn't the first time the alleged presidential love letter has made waves. In June 2016, the Boston, Massachusetts-based organization RR Auction put the letter up for auction. At the time, the auction house's executive vice president, Robert Livingston, spoke to the New York Times about the letter, saying, it's something you wouldn't expect to see from a president, and the fact that he didn't send it, obviously he came to his senses. However, the alleged pair had been seen in public together and were even filmed together in rare archival footage said to be taken in late September of 1963. Pinchot Meyer is reportedly the woman sporting sunglasses and standing behind the late president. Of course, reports of JFK's alleged extramarital affairs have been heavily documented for decades, notably including his wife's secretary supposed mob-connected Judith Campbell Exner, Swedish socialite Ganilla von Post, actress Marlene Dietrich, and multiple White House interns. However, his most infamous alleged romance was with pop culture icon Marilyn Monroe, who famously serenaded him with her performance of Happy Birthday, Mr. President in 1962. But Kennedy's alleged romance with Pinchot Meyer took on greater significance following her own untimely passing less than a year after the president's death. While taking a walk near a canal in the Georgetown area of Washington, D.C. on October 13, 1964, Pinchot Meyer was shot and killed. While a man named Raymond Crump Jr. was arrested in connection to her murder, he was later found not guilty. Though her death has remained a mystery, Pinchot Meyer reportedly documented her affair with Kennedy in her diary, which was discovered after her death and kept hidden by her brother-in-law, former executive editor of The Washington Post, Benjamin C. Bradley. However, the diary was reportedly later confiscated and destroyed by the CIA. If reports are to be believed, this wasn't just any affair. Journalist Charles Bartlett called the relationship between Kennedy and Pinchot Meyer dangerous, saying, Jack was in love with Mary Meyer. He was heavily smitten. He was very frank with me about it. Don't feel too bad for Kennedy's wife, Jackie Kennedy Onassis. The former first lady wasn't at a loss for love. Following her husband's assassination, reports allege that Jackie O began an intimate relationship with her late husband's younger brother, Robert F. Kennedy, which reportedly continued until RFK himself was assassinated in 1968. In addition to being romantically linked with a number of famous men throughout her marriage with JFK, including Frank Sinatra and Marlon Brando, her second marriage to shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis was reportedly an open relationship until his passing in 1975.